Well, let me ask you this. Somewhere out there, there's going to be a football coach going to watch this interview. And uh, everything nowadays is about winning, and everybody wants to win right now. What advice can you give that coach about winning? And what advice can you give that coach just in general? Now, I'm telling you, that's a, that's a great question because the concept is always win now. You know, mm -hmm. and and the pressure uh, from colleges, universities, and even high schools uh, is that we want to win, and we'd like to do it ASAP. And so, you have to be able to sell your administration, uh, your uh, direct uh, uh, folks you report to, the AD and his assistants that you're trying to build a program that's going to be here for a long, long time. And in order to do that, you have to change attitudes. People have to look at Baylor University. This is from my standpoint. They had to look at Baylor University in a different way. They had to see us uh, differently than they had in the past. Because to the world, for a few years there, Baylor University was just a losing football team with no facilities. And so we we came in and we were able to make some positive improvements in facilities. You know, we didn't uh, have brand new facilities, but we were able to improve what we had. And then the fact that we had such a great relationship with Texas high school coaches, mm -hmm. they they were very, very helpful to me and to our coaching staff. So if there was a young guy on their football team that everybody was overlooking, that coach said, Coach, uh, come in my office. I want to talk to you. I'd go in and sit down. And he said, look, there's not anybody recruiting old Joe. Out there. But look at his size. He's 6'6". He's 285. He's going to be 300 pounds or 285. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I suggest that you take so the coach based on your recommendation I'm going to take it. and so we'd take it you know, three years later he's all gone you know mm -hmm. so we were blessed because that coach knew the heart Tony of that player that had that high school coach knew the heart of that player and so I knew that that player with that kind of heart and that kind of attitude and work ethic, he's going to fill out those uh, that frame that he has, you know. Absolutely. And, uh, he's going to be a big boy. And he already had toughness, mental toughness, physical toughness. So, you know, people said, wow, you developed a great player. Uh, we just let them develop themselves. Gotcha.